So you guys have been asking for this video after some of you have seen Emmyology's version of it, but I wanted to do a hamster version. So today we are going to be answering the most googled questions about hamsters. So I'm just going to start with something maybe simple, I don't know. How are hamsters made? Well, when a mommy and a daddy hamster love each other very much, how are hamsters and guinea pigs different? So a lot of people actually confuse hamsters and guinea pigs, but they're completely different animals and they actually look very different as well. I like to consider kind of guinea pigs more log shaped. <laughs> they're still adorable, but they're more like a log and hamsters are more flexible I would say they are more similar to like a mouse's body as well as they have completely different diets where guinea pigs are herbivores hamsters are omnivores guinea pigs are very social hamsters are not social um, guinea pigs can live on fleece and things like that and hamsters cannot because hamsters are burrowers so they do need a deep substrate guinea pigs as well have a longer lifespan than a hamster and as well as they just are way bigger than hamsters. Are hamsters nocturnal? Hamsters can be considered nocturnal and crepuscular. It's very hard to tell the difference between these two words. I've had a debate with somebody on Twitter about it and we kind of came to the conclusion that it's a very confusing definition of both and essentially they're both nocturnal and crepuscular, there is no wrong answer. Um, some hamsters are more awake during the nighttime and some are going to be awake more during dawn and dusk. Are hamsters rodents? Yes, hamsters are rodents. Are hamsters blind? No, hamsters are not blind, but they don't have amazing vision. They can only see about six inches in front of their face. So they rely on a lot of their other things like their whiskers, their sense of smell, their sense of hearing, um, things like that, rather than sight. Are hamsters hypoallergenic? I would have to say no, based on the fact that I don't believe there is really a pet that is unless they're completely hairless and don't need things like bedding and such. I'm not a expert in allergies, but I don't believe they are. Are hamsters colorblind? Yes, but they're not colorblind in the sense that they just see black and white. They actually see in shades of, I think it is yellow and blue, if I remember correctly. How do hamsters die? <laughs> this is a very vague question because I'm assuming the people Googling this are wondering like if their hamster randomly died out of the blue because there obviously can be causes to your hamster's death that you know of, but if your hamster randomly passes and you just don't understand why, there could be a lot of factors to it. Um, one being hamsters really do not have amazing genetics, so something internally could have been wrong, whether that be um, enlarged organs or something didn't grow right or just some type, something like that. Um, they may also be more prone to genetic mutations, um, leading them to be more prone to different diseases and things, just because hamsters are so poorly bred. Thanks to rodent mills, thanks guys. How do hamsters get mites? So hamsters can very easily develop mites, and I would see, say it's more common for them to get them than rare. Uh, hamsters can develop mites through bedding sometimes, um, obviously from other animals or other hamsters, um, as well as a hamster can have mites living on them dormant, but their body is healthy enough that they can fight off a lot of them, and so there's only a couple living on their body, and so it's not going to affect them. But as soon as the hamster becomes stressed or their immune gets compromised, um, they're not able to fight off those mites, so more are easily um, reproduced, and then the hamster has an infestation of mites and that can sometimes happen to them, even if they don't have contaminated, contaminated bedding or anything like that. How do hamsters bathe? Hamsters bathe just like cats and they groom themselves, they lick themselves, they spend a ton of time doing that, as well as they can also use a sand bath with a chinchilla 
sand or reptile sand and this just takes away any of the excess grease that is produced on their coat. Should hamsters be alone? Yes, hamsters should live alone. They are not social animals and they don't get the same enrichment from living with the same species as an actual social animal. So it is always best to have one hamster per cage. Should hamsters eat hay? Hamsters are not herbivores, so hay is not a necessary part of their diet. Uh, they don't need to eat it to survive, and most hamsters actually aren't going to be really interested in eating hay. Some will occasionally nibble on it, but a lot of hamster owners actually use soft hays to mix into the bedding to help make a nice sturdy uh, area for your hamster to burrow in. And of course you want to use soft hays. You don't want to use anything rough like Timothy hay because you don't want a hamster getting poked in the eye. Should hamsters eat their poop? Yes, hamsters produce two different types of poops. Uh, one they don't eat and then the other one they do. Um, that way, if they didn't absorb any nutrients the first time, then they will the second time they eat it. Should hamsters eat mealworms? Mealworms are a great extra to feed your hamster. Um, keep in mind that they are quite fatty, but they are high in protein, so they can be a good snack. And if you are going to be wanting to add it into your hamster's mixture, make sure you've calculated it right so that your guaranteed analysis isn't going to be out of whack. Because once again, they are quite fatty. Do hamsters smell? Every single animal is going to have a smell and this can come down to um, themselves. Some animals are going to have a more potent smell. Um, it can also come down to the owner and how hygienic they keep the area and they keep the animal. But most of the time, all animals are going to have some type of smell, hamsters included. Some hamsters I've had have smelled better than others, so it kind of just depends. But essentially, yes, they are going to smell. Is it terrible that I like want to throw up every time I walk into the room my hamster is in? No. Do hamsters bite? Yes, <laughs> all animals are capable of biting, hamsters included, and a hamster biting is its only defense. They can't like drop their tail to get away or they can't like poison you or shoot venom from somewhere. So that is their only defense mechanism. So when they're spooked or scared or maybe they even think you're a snack, they're going to bite. Um, most of the time, if you tame your hamster and you're patient with them, you can get to a point where they're going to trust you and not bite you. Do hamsters have tails? Yes, hamsters have tiny little stubs. I don't know how much you would consider that a tail because their little stub isn't quite very useful to them, but it is still a tail. Do hamsters fart? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they do. Why does my hamster squeak? So some hamsters are more vocal than others and some will sometimes chatter or squeak and it may not mean anything bad, but a lot of the times squeaking can sometimes indicate a hamster is upset or they're ill or hurt in some way. You kind of have to read their body language and see when they are squeaking. Um, if it's something they're doing that they enjoy, then it could be a happy one or maybe they're just being vocal and seeing if there's any other hamsters to communicate to. Why does my hamster climb the cage and why does my hamster bite his cage? Keep in mind both of these two things are stress behaviors as well as boredom behaviors. Um, especially if they have become an obsessive habit where the hamster is constantly doing it all the time, um, very frenzied. This is not a good behavior, it's not a normal behavior, and they need more enrichment as well as a larger enclosure. And most of the time when a hamster is doing this, they have a too small of an enclosure. Why can't hamsters get wet? So hamsters can get wet, they're not sugar, they won't melt, but if they are completely soaking and you're bathing them with soap and water, that is where we run into the issues. So bathing your hamster is not helpful at all unless you've been directed by your vet for some health reason or they've gotten something like super sticky and you need to figure out a way to get it out of them. Um, Bathing your hamster can actually make them stinkier because you are removing a lot of the oils that they produce and everything um, and that they're gonna have to reproduce that once it's all been taken away. So it's a vicious cycle and they'll just get worse and worse 
um, if you keep bathing them, as well as if you're not drying your hamster off properly, they can go into shock. Um, they really are tiny little animals and they don't regulate their body heat that great. So they really need to be completely dried off. Um, so you should not get your hamster wet. It's not good. There's no point to it. If your hamster gets like a drop on the head, they'll be fine. <laughs> Why can't hamsters eat almonds? So this is a very interesting topic because some people will say almonds are unsafe and some will say they are safe. So the whole thing behind this is bitter almonds. Bitter almonds are toxic to hamsters, but they also are toxic to humans and every other mammal, I think, uh, because they contain cyanide, I think it is, in them. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so bitter almonds are not sold in the regular grocery store because they don't want you to eat them and die. So you're not likely to get a hold of bitter almonds to feed to your hamster. Regular almonds are safe for consumption by hamsters and humans. Uh, they're not going to kill you. They are sold in regular grocery stores. So yeah. Can hamsters eat cheese? Yes, hamsters can eat cheese. They also can eat dairy. They are not lactose intolerant like a lot of other animals are because hamsters actually have a pre-gastric pouch in them and that helps digest any lactose enzymes. So they are able to eat small amounts of cheese. Obviously don't give them any like jalapeno cheese or blue cheese. Regular mozzarella or cheddar is preferred. Can hamsters eat oranges? So yes, this once upon a time was thought that oranges were too acidic for hamsters, but there actually hasn't been any scientific studies to back that. There's no proof to say that oranges are too acidic and can harm hamsters. In fact, a science actually shows us that citrus fruits can possibly be beneficial to animals. Obviously, don't feed your hamster something so sour like a lime or a lemon, but something like a mandarin won't hurt them. So that is it for this video. I hope I could have answered some questions that you maybe have been wondering yourself, or if you just stumbled across this video and you've Googled one of these questions before, maybe I've answered it for you. See you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.